In this video, we will see how we can do a data preparation in our data model or the this is the query editor where we have in the last video, we have uh, connected to the data source, one of the web source and then uh, taken the country's GDP data and uh, that has been uh, loaded here. Now we wanted to do some transformation so that uh, this data looks good. Uh, first of all means when we see at this data at the first place, we will see uh, this uh, first row which is nothing but uh, this country. You can see country, uh, then subject descriptor, unit scale, and then uh, 2014. I think this this must be a column headers and not should be the row one. To do this, we need to do one thing, which is uh, uh, the option which is available here, uh, which will make our uh, this first row as a column header. We need to select one of the feature which is available here in home menu. You can see use first row as headers. Just click on that and it will automatically do all these kind of things where you can see the country has been there, subject description, units and scale. We don't need all these columns. I think means we will just remove uh, the columns which are first of all, we need country subject descriptor is fine units. I don't think we need a unit so you can remove it uh, this column from here or there is an option to uh, remove column from here as well from the menu. Uh, so any option we can select remove this column. Uh, scale we can keep and then this country specific I think this is just a blank uh, and we don't need this column so we can remove this column as well. You can see for each year this is the data which is available uh, for all the years uh, column wise. However, for better preparation of data analysis or for data vi better visualization we need to have these columns. Uh, data in a column specific like it should not be a year and their values it should be row wise for each country for each country then their uh, respective all years and then their gdp data it, lo it will look good and it will be helpful for our visualization as well to do that what we can do um, we do have this years there is one power powerful features with the power bi desktop just select this year 2014 and then select this year 2021 now once you have this then go to this transform menu here and then there is a option which is available is unpivot columns this is a one of the uh, powerful feature which will translate all but currently unselected columns now just click on this now when you click on this you can see the data has been changed we just have two columns available instead of there are eight to ten columns uh, for each year now you can see multiple countries, but their years has been uh, shown for each country. Now you can see. Now this data looks good from the uh, visualization perspective and we can use it very well uh, to get all the data. Now we will give uh, some name to these columns. So this attribute is one column which says means we should rename it. We can rename this directly double uh, single click there or you can just cl right click on here and just click on rename and we can select this year and this is a GDP data so we can give some name uh, as a GDP. This is uh, this data looks good. Uh, the other thing which we need to verify while data preparation is uh, all the columns has uh, correct data types. This is very important. Uh, basically country should be a character field then description should be character field and then this uh, year should be a number or a year um, data type this gdp should be in decimal value however right now i can see means we don't have this correct one uh, this uh, gdp you can see this icon is abc this is character year as also character and the others also character so now let's see one by one means if there is one anything we need to change now we can change uh, country is fine character then subject description is fine scale is also fine year year we need to change but before we change we need to see all the data so basically let's see if there is any un unwanted data like it should not be like when we change any data like it, if you wanted to make this column as a number we should verify all the data it should be number Otherwise, if there are there are some rows which are in character field, then we cannot change that value. So just try to verify this. 
you can see all the R numbers. So this this column should uh, look good. Then uh, select this one. Uh, this GDP value. Let's try to see if there is anything. Okay, so there are uh, there is one uh, value which says NA. So we can unselect this and uh, we will keep because we cannot convert that to number. Uh, we can just exclude that and just click on OK. Now, once we have done this, now you can see uh, we will try to change this uh, data type. Uh, just click on this uh, icon here, which is says ABC right now. Uh, you can change this to whole number because this is an year as as soon as we change the data type it moved to right side now this gdp data is uh, a decimal number as as you can see just click on this decimal number and then that will be uh, changed to decimal now this is how our data looks and uh, you can see all the uh, applied steps you can see means whatever we have done like source extracted table from HTML, then we have promoted headers, then change a type, uh, removed some columns, then we have unputed columns, then filter rows and then change data type. So these are the some of the transformations or the applies uh, processing we have done for this uh, uh, tables and that will be uh, helpful for our understanding and we are done with this uh, data preparation and what is the data transformation we wanted to do we have done this like renaming column and all those things now we will put it in a um, power bi desktop as a data model this is our data model where we will use this uh, to create our powerful visualizations to do that just click on this apply and close close and apply and it will uh, load it in a few seconds Okay, we are ready. It means our uh, data model is ready and we can use this data model to uh, visualize uh, the data. You can see there are options available here, country, GDP, scale, and this all options, uh, we, uh, all columns and all data we can use to our uh, visualizations that we will see in the next uh, video. That's all from this video. If you have any questions, then please put it in the comment section. If you like my video, then please like it and share it with others as well. Thank you.